here is a pit bull mix named Athena. And we're going to go through some training. A, a little background on her. Uh, she, the owner already had her doing stop, sit, down, stay, come here. The come here and stay was okay. Sitting down, knew perfectly. The dog knew her commands in English and in Spanish. She was pretty much well behaved. But the thing of it is, when uh, she took her for walks and she got around other dogs, or if there was a human that she didn't like, she acted like she didn't know nothing. The dog would throw the, all the commands out the window and say, I'm more interested in going after this person or dog than listening to anything you have to say. So now we can walk past anybody or anything. doesn't matter what's going on. And she's going to do what she's supposed to be doing. And trust me, she's a happy, she's a happy friendly dog. She's actually more happier now, now that she knows that she doesn't have to go after everyone or any dog or anything like that. For the most part, everyone is going to be nice and most dogs are going to be pretty good. All right, let's begin. Heel. And as we're going for a walk right here, no tension in the leash. I walk my dog just like this, right here. Just like this. Past any other dog or anything like that. And she'll be right there. Just like that. She knows we're on the leash. We're working. Walking at my side. Walking at my pace. Just like this right here. Alright. We'll come to a stop. Stop. Sit. Down. Stay. stayed she was okay at it before now uh she's perfect and we're at a park right now just some open park random park squirrels running by dogs whatever she's right there all i do is i walk past her i reinforce the stay stay just like that right there come on over here walk on down this way she's still right there hanging out bear with me I have to film myself <laughs> which is more difficult there's a water bottle right here see this right here she's still in her down stay she's picking the water bottle up I'll reinforce the stay stay throw it out there right there see just like that stay should just hang out there 10 seconds 20 seconds minute two minutes squirrels walking by another dog walk by she knows to hold that stay hold it till i need you to get up and i'm about to get her up right now in three two come here she's gonna come right over here look happy turn her to me stop sit down no questions asked she does it right there now we're gonna do some off leash good girl good girl good girl all right here come on now you want to, like I said this in many videos, what's better than a dog that can listen to you on the leash is you can let your dog off leash. Your dog is much more enjoyable when you can take them to the beach, the park, and knowing you still have access to them so they can go out. Now if there was a dog coming by or anything like that, she's not allowed to go and just go and greet the dog, much less uh, go and try to do anything else to the dog. She has to... Um, have permission to go even go and greet a dog there's a human coming by cap first of all the human's supposed to ask can they pet my dog and uh the other should be she's, she's not to go greet no one human or dog unless she has permission she has permission then we can go and greet she doesn't have permission she better not take off so say if there was a dog right out here there's a dog coming she sees the dog if she were to take off running i'm going to hit the button on the remote collar which she has around her neck that's this right here i would hit the button because you need to eliminate that right there you don't want your dog running off nowhere. And the remote collar is just temporary. So when you're not pressing the button no more, you're not using the remote collar no more. Come on, let's go somewhere. Come here. Come on. I'm going to come over here and walk around and stuff. Again, bear with me. I have to film myself, which makes things a little more difficult. So you can walk around the park and just, just enjoy your dog. Much better. It's much better to have your dog off the leash and be able to go and tell him what to do and not worry about nothing. But you still have access using the remote collar. Now watch, I'm going to walk back this way. She's still walking that way, which is fine. I'm going to walk back this way. Good, good. Wait, hang on over there. Because wherever I go, without calling, she needs to keep up with the pack. And right now, we're a two-person pack. So if I'm walking the other way, she can go sniff around and everything, but keep in a certain distance where you have an eye on the pack leader, which would be me. Now she's looking at me like, okay, 
he's just walking backwards right now. <laughs> Wait, like again, look, look, this, this is what you want. This is what you want for your dog. This is this is standard. This is what I call basic obedience. Dog, listen to you on and off the leash. This is just standard obedience. Anything other than this is, would be competition obedience, or if your dog's going out for um, you know, frisbee competition or anything like that. That's you know, that's competition stuff. This is uh, this is what I call just regular obedience. There's a lot of work involved. Don't get me wrong, but it's called regular obedience. Call her right there. She's sniffing. Now, if I wanted to leave something alone, I would say leave it, then I would call her to me. Leave it! Come here! Now, she didn't come, right? She's like, hmm, this scent is more appealing over here. That's good, that's fine. Watch. See this button right here? Come here! I hit the button. The sniff is gone. She comes to check in. Good girl. Good girl. Elite professional dog training. Am I go to your dog? Your dog should come to you.